welcome back to the tarot cottage my name is amy i'm back today with a pick a card reading for you um i just want to say a big welcome back and thank you to my beautiful soul family thank you to my subscribers who keep coming back and supporting me and supporting each other especially in the comment section you guys are so kind and and generous with your stories and with your insight and with each other especially i've really noticed in the comment section so thank you for helping me create such a beautiful space thank you for being here with me thank you for your friendship and if you found yourself here on this channel for the very first time we would just like to welcome you to this space i do pick a card readings on this channel um, we like to keep it a space of positivity of light and love so if you are into tarot if you're into pick a cards please join us grab yourself a cup of tea um, some snacks and we'll have a little chat because we're all friends when we gather here together at my table um, today's pick a card reading is a um card reading about their true feelings for you with zero filter so this could be anybody on your mind it could be somebody no contact this could be somebody that you're interested in an ex it doesn't really matter what the context of the connection is um it's just what their true feelings are for you um with zero filter so it doesn't even have to be a love connection if you're not into into that but of course i'll be pulling love message cards um i have three piles for you to choose from today pile number one here with the pink flower and the uh, red jasper pile number two with the cream flower and the super seven stone pile number three with the blue flower and the black obsidian so whichever pile or piles or flowers or stones are calling out to you there may be a message waiting for you from spirit today um, my timestamps are down below in the description box um, you may be attracted to multiple piles and that's absolutely okay too this is your show we're all just living in it so whatever you feel drawn to um, that is the pile for you I'm going to go ahead and jump right into pile number one today um, again we're looking at a connection in your life what are their true feelings for you with zero filter pile one hello everybody in pile number one you are drawn to this beautiful pink flower or to the red jasper um, and this is your reading the person on your mind what are their true feelings for you right now with zero filter you were drawn to the wild unknown tarot one of my favorites a big thank you to daniel for gifting me this beautiful deck So their true feelings for you with zero filter what do they wish that they could say to you how do they truly feel about you and this connection that you find yourselves in whatever the case may be what are their true feelings please spirit oops true feelings for you please thank you so we have the temperance card coming out first um, for you with their true feelings and the temperance card is a card about balance so they could be feeling out of balance when it comes to this connection it's also a card that speaks to patience um, and a need for healing as well during that time of patience so we'll see what else comes out their true feelings for you feelings for you please spirit we have the king of swords so libra energy Their true feelings for you the king of pentacles um i'm getting the impression that this person um could be the type of person that is really um gives me the impression that they've spent a long time thinking about what they want to say to you thinking about what they want to get off of their chest to you because this king of swords is just screaming out for truthfulness and and honesty and openness but it's almost look at the way that this owl is just peering at us it's like this sense of defiance almost because then it's next to this father of pentacles this king of pentacles um this person could be a an earth sign they could be somebody who is very they could be at the hell, head of a family so take that as it resonates that's definitely not for everyone but um the king of pentacles is always especially next to this um father of swords this is somebody who is authoritative this is somebody who 
wants people to see them as such and they care about other people's opinions of them as well they care about their reputation and they care about their ego and there's this long set standing sense of needing to get something off my chest but being fearful to do so oops sorry about the wobble being fearful to do so but we do have the nine of cups here the intent, the focus on you is very strong. And that nine of cups is just a beautiful representation of um, something that they desire so much that it's become the one thing that's missing. Do you know what I mean? That nine of cups is, is emotional fulfillment, but missing one piece. We have the four of pentacles coming out next to this father of pentacles. Back of the deck is the eight of pentacles. This is somebody who could very much be working very hard on their coin working very hard on ascension in a financial or tangible type of way. They could even be an entrepreneur of sorts or at the head of some type of business. Like I said, they're like, they're presenting themselves as a leader and they've worked really hard to get to this position. Um, and that's the other thing they want to express to you. It's almost like they want to impress you with what they've accomplished. I don't know if this is a no contact situation or you knew this person in the past, but they want to impress you with what they've accomplished, with what, with what they've attempted to build for themselves. But there's also this sense of like fear <laughs> with the four of pentacles. Yes, it's building. Yes, it's a concern for my home, but it's this, it's like my ego could be bruised or I could lose what I've already amassed um, if I take risks. And that's something that really scares them. So we're going to clarify these cards. Eight of pentacles here, back of deck so far. The spider imagery. Let's clarify the temperance card, please. What are their true feelings with zero filters? Clarifying temperance. Their true feelings with zero filters. Eight of cups. Oh, somebody walked away in the past here and it may have been a while in the past. Um, you may have walked away before this person had a chance to express themselves. They felt ill-equipped at that time as well. They felt um, unable or un it's like they didn't have the maturity or the, the confidence at that time to speak how they felt, to speak their truth, to be open, to be honest. Somebody walked away with that eight of cups because they weren't feeling fulfilled emotionally. And I honestly, I feel like that departure was really difficult on this person too. Um, yeah, this look what just flipped out. Hanged man with the, with the 10 of cups. It sort of just left them hanging. It left them frozen in space, frozen in time, frozen in space. That nine of cups that we saw earlier. Um, here's the two of swords on the back of the deck. Um, that nine of cups we saw earlier. Here's the 10 of cups, that emotional fulfillment that um, has been sort of been dangled in front of them almost like a carrot you know it's like it's been dangling there they know what what will create this um abundance this beautiful connection this fulfillment they realize that but then there's this surrender here with the hanged man there's this feeling of stagnation and with the two of swords here you know this two of swords there's a sun that sort of heated up it's like i didn't see i was blind i didn't see clearly because I maybe wanted to protect myself even back then. So as much as they, as they have grown um, in their ability to especially make money, I feel like saying that they have grown in their ability to sort of um, feel their, like they feel more confident now, but they're still sort of stuck in that holding place of um, insecurity when it comes to risking it all emotionally. Risking it all emotionally is very, very difficult for this person. And here's the King of Cups. The King of Cups. <laughs> Back of deck is the Ace of Wands. Um, the Ace of Wands is, is the thoughts of you, the fantasies, the desire for you. And when we talk about, you know, we're asking about how are they truly feeling? What are their true feelings for you with zero filters? They're presenting themselves as very stoic. Uh, because these four cards up top are the main cards for me. And when I draw um, clarifiers, they're in support. They sort of add support to the main to the main card. So here we have this King of Cups in support of the Father of Cups. So they push their emotion down. It becomes secondary to their goals. It becomes secondary to um, the level of importance that they put that on that put that they put the their emotions on. 
they feel like um, potentially that emotions or showing their emotions is a weakness and it's actually the opposite you know true strength is the ability to step out in vulnerability true, true strength is doing something afraid but that's a lesson that they haven't quite learned yet they're pushing their emotions down and the um, it's like what they give off to the world is not the truth of how they feel inside because they're putting that up on a shelf it hasn't gone anywhere they recognize underneath it all what is going to fulfill them but they still have this desire for self-preservation and it's easier to fantasize about you than it is to make it real because that's when they have to kind of put their money where their mouth is for true feelings for you no filter please The Page of Wands. Back of deck is the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Swords. So that Page of Wands is sort of in support to that Ace of Wands. It's the, the curiosity. They're very curious about you. I feel like this connection never had the chance to really get off the ground in the past. And it was a confidence issue. It was a confidence issue with this person and it, it's taken this person a long time to grow out of that feelings of, of insecurity and they feel like they've conquered it. That's the thing is that their perception's a little bit skewed because they feel like they've conquered the issues from the past that affected this connection, that created perhaps the stagnation, that created the no contact for some of you. Um, but in reality, they've worked on themselves and they feel confident in certain areas, but they're still really insecure when it comes to vulnerability, when it comes to expressing myself fully and here this Knight of Swords wants to charge in with that truth. But it's almost like this sense of like shoving the truth down your throat and not knowing where it's going to, where it's going to lead. It's, a, it's like it comes in in a very unemotional way. Because this Eight of Swords, it's like they're saying, I, I'm stuck. I'm trapped by my own design. I've created this prison of, of my inability to express myself by my own design. I want transformation. I can make it happen because this Father of Swords, Father of Pentacles, these are very determined characters. They can make things happen, but there it's like I'm choosing not to with the hanged man. I haven't I haven't been able to step out in boldness um, because I don't know what's going to happen if I act upon my feelings. Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, they don't know the consequences. They don't know what's going to happen if they act out on their feelings. And they have this insecurity about where those um, feelings are going to lead them. And like I said, they're practicality. They're practically minded and they think about that. But these practical things fall away. The lessons that we're supposed to learn here are truly emotional ones. Um, let's get a few more messages from this person. How are they truly feeling about you with no filter? Ooh. It is safe for you to love. It says, open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. We also have pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. I feel like this person could be the type of person that sees red flags when they aren't or they, um, it's like the smallest snag in their plans would create a, a, an internal chaos that would stop them from moving forward. Cause you'll see all of the emotions at the bottom, all of the practical thought is, is the, at the forefront of their mind. They could definitely be an air sign. They could definitely be in Libra, very intelligent, um, and uses that intelligence almost, it's, it's, their intelligence is almost a blessing and a curse sometimes. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy here. And that could be advice for you if you feel like this person, you need to release them. Um, for them, like I said, it feels like it's easier for them to continue the way that things are, continue with the stagnation, continue to live in the discomfort of not having the emotional fulfillment than it is to step out in boldness. And so for them, it feels like sometimes it's easier to stay here than to act upon how they feel for whatever the reason. It could be many reasons why they feel the need to um, stay where they are, to not approach you. For some, And this is not a message for everyone. I know I'll get messages in my comment section. Um, it's not a message for everyone. But we will say this with the, with the hanged man, with the ten of cups, with the king of cups. This person could actually be a part of a family unit. They don't have to be. Um, like I said, this also represents that emotional abundance and how they feel you are the source or the answer to, to what's missing. Um, but for some of them, they could actually be a father figure. So take that as it resonates. 
Let's get some messages from this person. I'm going to use No filter, please, spirit. How do they feel? What are their true feelings here? No filter. I daydream about you. Underneath this, it says I'm in love with you, but that's not the card that showed itself because again, they're, it's easier to fantasize than it is for them to put out their emotions in a real vulnerable way. Because I feel like they worry that if they let some of it out, it's going to come out like a floodgate. This King of Cups sometimes gets overwhelmed by those waves of emotion. It's like if I give an inch, uh, it's going to, you know, a mile is going to be taken. The sparks with you are undeniable and they do think about that. I mean, the um, Knight of Wands thinks about that. The, the Page of Wands thinks about that fire. It says, I'm sorry that I hurt you. Please forgive me for things of the past. We also have, we need to talk. And that's the... That's the thing about the King of Swords. That's his best attribute, you know, is speaking, talking, expressing himself through a thoughtful way, um, looking at things from a very, a very broad angle. I crave adventure with you. They could be in a very humdrum situation at the moment in their life, and they crave different um, changes. They they crave different adventures. It says, let us take your worry. This is a card that doesn't even belong inside this deck. So you guys could be worrying about this connection quite a bit. And also this person, it could be that they're the type of person that wants to take the rein in things. They are a leader and they want to be seen as such. Um, that's just who they are. It says, you see right through me. I'm being driven by responsibility and also... You are perfect for me. Back of the deck says, I did feel an instant connection. Let's see. What are your true feelings for pile one, please? We have the tarantula coming out. And it's coming out with the earthworm. So it definitely feels like a no contact situation for some of you here. Um, they could even be keeping tabs on you on your social media. We do have the gazelle. And the gazelle is a very um, aware creature of its surroundings at all times. Kind of a fight or flight though. So if they're watching you, it's kind of from the, the background. They're not liking posts or anything like that. I feel like they're just sort of in the shadows a little bit watching. Um, this tarantula is the sense of patience along with the, um, along with the temperance card here. The tarantula has to wait for a very long time to improve its situation, to catch its prey. And I feel like this patient, this person has been waiting, um, perhaps even for an opportunity to come in and speak to you. But somebody feels restricted. And the earthworm is a, is a wonderful creature and is often taken for granted. Um, it does speak of no contact in this situation because the earthworm spends its life toiling under the underground. It's, it doesn't have the benefit of sight. It doesn't have the benefit of of sound because they're deaf and blind they live their entire life off of vibrations and in the same way it's like this person trying to connect with your energy um trying to connect even though they can't see you they can't hear you they're not connecting with you it's like they still feel you they still feel your energy and that's why they're still maintaining the feelings for you their true feelings for you i don't want think before you act but I feel like, like I said, their their intellect is their biggest asset, especially in business. Um, but it's also their worst enemy when it comes to love because they're too logical. It's like I have to wait for the perfect moment, the perfect time. The perfect time never comes because our concept of perfection is a completely skewed one. And it's usually based on fear. Sometimes we create these completely unattainable goals that we know we can't reach or that we know in ourselves that we're not going to reach. Because then we can sort of blame the situation, the world, on the failure. I'm ready. Very conflicting messages. <laughs> but I, that's the thing. The Knight of Swords wants to charge in, is ready to speak. But it's all of these practicalities, these thoughts that stop them from acting. I am coming. Trust me, they say. And with that Knight of Swords, it could be a card that speaks to movement and communication coming in. But then here we go. I'm coming, but I think we should slow down. It's like I'm ready, but I'm going to think before I act. 
I'm coming, don't worry, but I think we should slow down because they second guess themselves. They go back and forth, back and forth. Their true feelings, no filter, please. Wait. And you matter. Back of the deck says, I never imagined so much perfection. Um, reminds me of the Nine of Pentacles, and it was in the reverse position. Um, and, you know, setbacks. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse position is setbacks. And, and the Nine of Pentacles is about someone who's trying to achieve, trying to achieve a certain level, trying to um, work really hard to ascend. And they're very proud when they get to that point. But this person feels very much focused on growth for themselves. But that's what's really holding them up. It's like, I need to get more and more and more. I need to, it's like they really want you to be impressed, <laughs> potentially, as well. filters how they truly feel spirit no filters this just feels so hopeless but it only feels hopeless because we're allowing it to feel hopeless because they're they're getting all up in their mind and they're convincing themselves of failure and they're anticipating um anticipating that rejection potentially i want to get back what we had in the past You gave me mixed signals in the past. Perhaps lots of flirtation and no action. And it could, I feel like, again, I feel like they're passing the buck a little bit. I feel like they were just as much to blame for that type of um, activity, the mixed signals as you were. I shouldn't have doubted my intuition. And with a thought like that of, you know, I shouldn't have doubted that in the past, they should carry that lesson to the present. They should carry that lesson to the present now and not, you know, worry, you know, this whole think before you act um, mentality is still with them. I'm ready for, to fight for this. It's like the five of wands. Insecurity, though. Ooh. You've taught me so much. And I've kept so much of myself hidden from you. Back of the deck says, if pigs could fly... Which is inter interesting because that card speaks to like improbabilities. It's like for some reason this person thinks that they can't achieve something with you. Um, and you know that old adage, if you think you can, if you think you can't, you're probably right. Because it's all about our, our willingness to create change in that concept. A few more messages here. No filters. How does this person feel? Their true feelings. I know more than you think. I am keeping tabs on you. So they're definitely keeping um, a close watch on you. Social media, perhaps, or perhaps through mutual friends, whatever the case may be. I'm not blind to the signs. I see them. But this person may be almost too logical to admit that they're, that they're signs. Um, one time, my um, brother-in-law had this interesting paranormal experience and he's so logical minded he just refuses to see it as a paranormal experience and he actually experienced it with his friends so he calls it a shared hallucination <laughs> and this person kind of reminds me of that vibe of like even if something even if god himself came down and like expressed their desires for them to move towards you they'd be like am i hallucinating about this i'm too intelligent to believe in these types of things but they see signs I want commitment with you, but just not yet. Not quite ready. I've been thinking about proposing to you. Ooh, so they've had fantasies about having it all with you with that with that Ten of Cups. They've had fantasies about taking it to um, a committed place. I've been focused on money because I'm trying to build for myself is on the back of that deck. Let's get a charm bowl for you to close out your reading group one. If you're new to my channel, I finish every pile with a charm cast with little tarot, oh, one's in the bowl, um, and some charms. I have, oops, I have meanings for my charms. I'm going to try that again. Um, but I'm going to, I always encourage, sorry, I always encourage everyone to find their own meaning in the charms. We have the Justice Libra. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the King of Swords. 
and we it's in the reverse and we have the six of pentacles here a uh, libra energy very very strong this person could actually be working in the legal field or some sort of a law field as well um There's a bit of a bitterness in this person, <laughs> and I can't ignore it with this King of Swords reversed. We've seen him in the upright in your reading. We have this sense of justice. There's a little bit of bitterness underwriting how they feel, but that's part of the thing that holds them back. Um, it's, it's like they haven't fully accepted their own position and, and their power in it. Um, they're still really upset about, you know, somebody walking away, you potentially, or maybe they walked away because they weren't able to face those fears and communicate how they feel with an honest, open way. Um, the Six of Pentacles in the future position could mean that they are contemplating coming back towards you. But I do feel like this person is the stop-start type of person. A very logical, waiting for a perfect timing, perhaps. Lots of letters in the bowl today. We have the letter F, the letter Z could be dreaming about you. We have I, we have Y, FYI, <laughs> for your information. We have Z twice, the L and the K in the bowl. We have make, make things happen. This person could be an entrepreneur who actually makes things or is in charge of making things. We have the fish bones with the, with the um, Pisces energy. I think of the 10 of swords when I see that fish bone um, charm somebody who has kind of reached a breaking point and it's kind of an over the emotional response to it it's like a, a very painful response the blue lips are my symbol for someone who hasn't been kissed in a while um, i'm missing that connection we have um, the star energy aquarius in the bowl we have a little rune here as well and that's the ruin of day Degas ruin which is about breakthroughs breakthroughs and insights and this person's very intelligent so hopefully that's coming forward for them all right group number one that's what i have for you today a little long-winded i apologize but i wish you so much luck in this connection um and if you resonated with this message i would love for you to like this video and pop me a little comment down below subscribe to the channel hit your notification bell because i offer a chance to win a free reading with me for anyone who subscribes and leaves me a comment below my video so please um do all of those things so that I can enter you in for your chance to win. You can check me out on Instagram as well. Um, I offer a chance to win a free reading over there as well on a monthly basis. And you can check out my Etsy page below for a personal reading if you feel called to. Um, but I really hope that you come back here and visit me on another day at the Tarot Cottage. And I hope that you have a very beautiful day today. Take care. Hello, pile number two. You were drawn to the cream flower. Um, and to the super seven stone here. And this is your reading. Um, the person on your mind, what are their true feelings for you at this time with zero filters? If they had no filters, if they could say whatever they wanted to you, um, what would they say they felt for you at this time? Pile number two. Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Cups coming out first for you, Pile 2. Oh my goodness, they lost like their dream come true. They lost their dream come true. Somebody walked away from literal everything that could have made them happy. It's like they're one step away from happiness because of what is missing from that fulfillment. And look at the way that he like looks at her, or they're kind of androgynous, the way they look at each other. Um, it's just adoration adoration and it may have taken somebody walking away yeah there's the ace of swords it took somebody walking away for them to see that clearly because they're like it didn't come in i took it for granted potentially this realization didn't come in until after the separation because that's in the present and it's like the truth stings now you know like it's like sometimes ignorance can be bliss <laughs> That bliss doesn't last forever, but sometimes ignorance can be bliss. There are truly feelings for you. Oh, Capricorn energy with the devil. Obsession for you. Pile twos. Obsession. Um, addiction, almost in a way. And it really kind of sort of flaunts their insecurity. 
when it comes to you. It could have been what kind of stopped them from acting in the past, but now I just feel like it's just heightened them. It's like absence makes the heart grow fonder, and that's what this person is saying. It's, but it, it feels, I say fonder, but it feels painful. If I'm like in my chest, I feel like a heaviness in my chest and my heart because it's like the realization came in and now I'm almost like a prisoner of it. So I'm aware of it. Like I feel like I could cry almost. I feel like I'm aware of it, but the hindsight was 2020. We have temperance. Interesting because last pile started with a temperance card. Um, back on the deck is the six of wands. Six of wands is kind of um, spirits advice card to us on how to handle these types of entrapments, how to handle these types of conflicts within us. So it's this sense of like declaring victory over our problems and over our, our confines or over our obstacles before we've even embarked on the journey. Because if we have that air of confidence about us, the universe is going to rise to the nature of your song, just like the secret says. We have the page of coins. Oh, you know what I just heard in my head? Eight of Swords. Um, they're saying we could have had it all. I heard the Adele song in my head. We could have had it all if I just recognized, if I just acted. We could have had it all. And here they are struggling now. Struggling now with the reality of what should have, could have, would have been in this connection. It's really holding them back from being able to see positive things in their life at this time. Um, because they saw something potential or they saw such great potential that could lead to so much. But there seemed to be so many hurdles for them, they said. It's like there seemed to be so many hurdles and so many obstacles just to kind of get to that beautiful sunshine that's kind of cascading behind those mountains. And so because those hurdles seemed so daunting, they, they thought they had more time to overcome them. And then somebody walked away. Somebody walked away, but they still want that. Like, here's the Ace of Coins. It's like, I'm still focused on that. Their true feelings. No filter, please, spirit. The truth in of itself. Here we have the Two of Cups. The truth in of itself is almost um, a prisoner. It, like, creates a prison for them. Sorry, I had a bit of an explosion. I'm just picking up these cards here. Knight of Cups on the floor. Two of Cups under that double. Um, and you know, the Two of Cups for me, obviously soulmate cards, soulmate energy. A like-minded individual. And really wanting, really wanting um, a connection with you that leads to more and hoping for that down the road. For some of you, they could be trapped in a current relationship. So please take that as it resonates or vice versa. That will not be for everyone. Um, but we see somebody who feels potentially trapped unable to move out of their current situation as well so it could just be it's not just an emotional restriction they're saying for some of you it's not just an emotional restriction that's keeping me back i have things that i need to suppress i have, I have responsibilities we have the moon oh you know what i just heard it's like i'm prepared to wait forever and i'm prepared to hide this forever i'm prepared to keep my feelings down below the surface um, and I just feel like they worry that they've already lost their chance here with this moon card. Cause I just see her walking over that bridge. It's like, I've already crossed that bridge. And now all I can do is reflect upon the pain. You can even see like on this side, the animal's face is looking down in reflection from the past. And in this one, it's looking up at her. Like, what are you going to do with this, with this knowledge? She's right in the middle of that bridge. Like, are you going to turn back or are you going to keep going? It's, it's a sense of like, wait a sense of waiting to see what and potentially you could be the one stuck in some sort of situation too because here we have the page of swords too in the chariot it's a sense of watching and waiting and like this person has this bird sitting on her finger um it's a sign of like it's like she's purposefully waiting to let that bird go purposefully waiting for an opportunity to come in and communicate with you potentially because there's that chariot and there's the ace of cups they've already decided what they want out of this connection. I feel like it was a hard lesson to learn, but I feel like they've decided what they want out of this connection. And now they're just either trying to figure out how to release themselves from this insecurity or whatever holds them back. And like I said, we're dealing with the general collective energy. So that devil can represent many, many things. 
It can represent being stuck in a physical union. It can represent being stuck because of my own insecurities. It can be represent physical addictions that hold me back. Um, but this person has made the decisive choice that they want a new beginning with you, that they know what fulfills them. There's that missing cup from over here. There's that missing cup, but it's like a sense of like, I'm waiting for the perfect time to come charging in. I'm waiting for the sign that I get to see from you, potentially, if they're watching you, um, to come charging in. For some of you, this is somebody that actually went to school with you in the past. Their true feelings. Zero filter, please. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. There is almost this expectation of, of like eventually we're going to be able to find our way back to each other because it's not like the moon is up here and vice versa. These are my main cards. I, I said this in my first pile that these are my main cards and these are just support. These are just support in, in, in these cards. So they are willing to wait for as long as it takes to cut, but they're also on the fence there. But with the temperance card, there's this need for healing for what they're currently sitting in um, and almost an expectation that with patience, it could lead them to that beautiful road of happiness, that beautiful sunshine that we were talking about over here. And, you know, Spirit is saying it's calling for us to have faith in this situation. Their true feelings, please. Children, your love life is being affected by children. And you could have went to school with this person when you were a child. Um, there could be um, children in your life at the present moment. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I feel for some of you, there's been a length of time between seeing each other where you may have grown up with this person, but now you or this person may have children or things have shifted and there's things in your life that have shifted, not even necessarily children, but so much has transpired between seeing each other and not seeing each other that it's like a whole lifetime has gone by. And now you really need to sit and talk and get to know each other all over again. If you think you know this person or if they think they know you, they're actually wrong because you've changed, you've grown and vice versa. It is safe for you to love though. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. So if they're feeling like they've already lost, they've already crossed that bridge, they've already lost this connection and, and there's no going back, they're wrong about that. Again, with the eight of swords here, see her eyes are downcast she can't see clearly instead of using those swords of justice and truth to help clarify their situation and make them feel more confident and secure in their present they've allowed them to sort of um, create a prison they've allowed um, their emotions to overwhelm them so they're not seeing things clearly but spirit is saying it is safe for them to love it is safe for them to approach you how do they feel please spirit or true feelings zero filters my feelings for you are my biggest secret and I can't decide what to do and yet that's the thing is that the chariot is representing that choice of what to do that choice of what to do and here's the ace of cups it's not a, about deciding what they want because emotionally that decision's been made you know chariots ruled by cancer that's a very emotional sign the emotional decision has been made but the deci decisive action required to get to where they need to be is going to take time to be able to have the courage to reveal themselves is going to take time so they're saying they can't decide what to do but they've made their mind up emotionally it's just they can't decide if they have the strength physically I dream about you all the time and I'm curious about you what have you been through what has transpired what's going on in your life well it says smile though your heart is breaking and I am looking for clarity but it's pretty hard to look for clarity <laughs> And I feel like that has a lot to do with how, what, you know, what they're viewing in your situation. Um, they're looking for clarity, but this Ace of Swords has been bound and, and even has little sprigs of green growing on it. Sorry about the noise. Somebody is mowing their lawn outside. I'm trying to choose. So this could be a physical choice, again, between the left and the right, where they want to be with you or with someone else. Take that as it resonates. Or again, it's about a decisive action towards my goals. It took some time, but I see clearly now. 
It says, I want you to be happy, are you? It's like, I get this very, here, have, I can see I'm watching. I get this very strong sense that they don't know what's going on in your life and they're making assumptions about it. Um, mm, back of the deck, do you, do you ever think about us? They're making assumptions about your life, but conversations need to be had because the two of you need to get to know each other all over again. true feelings right this moment with zero filters how are they feeling about group two and zero filter with these spirit again they think you are their divine counterpart that two of cups is soulmate energy the truth came after my clarity came in afterwards i didn't realize what i had until it had walked away from me I didn't realize what a dream come true this was until it was gone. It says I'm going after what I want. It may take some time though. I feel like there's still, the chariot is, is a movement card. I'm not saying it's not, but it's the secondary support to this back of deck energy. And that's the watcher, the waiter, just trying to gather information at this time. But they're saying I'm making plans with us. And the clarity that came in for them afterwards was that they were actually the happiest they've ever been. says don't worry I am coming no filter please I'm afraid to look bad I'm afraid of what you think about me I'm afraid of what other people will think about my choices afraid of being judged afraid of my reputation going for a nosedive I shouldn't have doubted my intuition the page Page of Swords. It's like I shouldn't have second guessed myself in the past. They had inclinations that you could have led to more, but they second guessed themselves or they thought they had more time. It says this is far from being over, though, <laughs> on the back of that deck. I wish they could say zero filter. It says telepathically communicate with me. They may be trying to send you thought shapes and, you know attempts at connecting with you on an energetic level because that seems like the safest option for them it says i'm situating this karmic situation i've created this situation i also have i never meant to hurt you it wasn't you it was me so if they didn't treat you the way that you feel was a reflection of, of their true feelings for you then they're sorry for that no filter how do they truly feel I've been hurting without you. You have no idea. Back of the deck says you're so different, but that's why I love you. Whoops. The dragon. This is divine masculine energy for me, this dragon. Dragons have all these scales and protection. Um, and so just like the divine masculine, they kind of armor themselves up for battle here. But the thing about the dragons, they always have a soft spot. Um, and I feel like they do, this person feels like there's a lot of weight on their shoulders. Um, there's a very strong protective energy too that they have about you. Uh, they are very fiercely guarding their ego, but at the same time, I feel like they're very um, possessive when it comes to you. Every dragon has a, a soft spot that a knight can kind of attack, and you are that soft spot. We have the owl, looking at things from higher perspective, air energy here, um, wisdom keeping tabs on you as well. I have so many decks beside me, you guys. I'm trying to figure out which ones to grab. I should be more organized. Their true thoughts of you, their true feelings. Oop, gossip only hurts more. I just says, fought its way out of the deck. I wasn't even going to let it come out, but it fought its way out of the deck. Gossip only hurts more. They're afraid of what people are going to say. And they're afraid of what you may have heard about them. Um, they're very much invested in other people's opinions of them. No filter, please. What do they feel? Sex with you. They want to take this to a different level and they focus upon that. Which is interesting because this is the first time, I think this is like the first time they really expressed that. Um, I want you to choose. Do you have a decision to make regarding this connection and perhaps um, 
decisions that will lead to more here or or are you the one having to make a choice please take it as it resonates if I asked you to stay would you leave so these two cards are really um, speaking about either your energy towards them perhaps they are in a situation right now they're situating a karmic situation with someone else um, or that could be vice versa that could be you and they are watching so they may be very well aware of your situation so they may be asking you know waiting the wings waiting for an opportunity to come in because they're waiting for something to end on your end so please take that as it resonates let's get a charm bowl for you group twos charm bowl please for group number two the person on their mind their current true thoughts we have the page of wands sort of came out reversed page of wands zero filter what are they thinking and feeling please spirit tower and the five of wands Ooh, we have the tower sort of reversed here trying to avoid disaster potentially on your end if you are coupled up or in some type of situation that makes them think that they can't approach you um, because that page of wands was in the reverse when it first came out and there's a sense of delay or stagnation or like a, not being able to do what i want to do um, there's a competition too, feeling and jealousy and um, obstacles in that vein as well. So they could be waiting for, you know, something in your end to end before they sort of make their appearance or make them their presence known. Because it's like they're trying to avoid some sort of disaster. Of course, these messages are for the collective. So things could be reversed or it may not resonate with you. Um, an explosion it knocked everything down let's see here okay so we have the eye that hopped out we have why oh I love you look I love you oh my goodness and then we have a we have the curled shell here which reminds me of the empress and the high priestess all together because of how big and ornate it is so hiding a very strong feeling or, or premonition that you are their divine counterpart they've expressed themselves they've sort of expressed you as the divine um, counterpart and themselves as the divine counterpart in a very sort of <laughs> under the surface type of way like they didn't put it right out there we have the um, devil here which is talking about being stuck being stagnant potentially um being trapped in a situation uh, also just addiction obsession potentially over you we have the letter s here as well we have the um, american eagle here with the heart so the us the united states could be significant to you it talks about bravery and freedom we also have the fish bones that was in the last pile as well interesting interestingly enough um, it reminds me of the ten of swords letting go of old ideas so that we can formulate new plans of action it sort of represents somebody who's kind of over emotional when it comes to that moment of realization that things need to change all right group two that's what I have for you today I hope that it resonated with your situation um, if it did I would love for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel it really helps me to bring more content to you um, please hit your notification bell and drop me a comment below as well if you're a subscriber and you drop me a comment um, I enter you in for a chance to win a free reading with me on a monthly basis so be sure to do that you can check me out on Instagram as well I offer a chance to win a free mini read over there on a monthly basis and you can check out my Etsy link below for a personal reading if it's empty it just means I've sold out for that day but you can keep checking back because I do um, read list every um, afternoon on weekdays and usually on Sundays as well um, but I really hope that you come back here and visit me on another day at the Tarot Cottage and I hope that you have a beautiful day today take care hello everybody group number three you're drawn to the beautiful blue flower and to oops I can never get this guy to sit the black obsidian stone and this is your reading the person on your mind what are their true feelings for you right now with zero filter if they could tell you how they felt with zero worry about consequence what would they tell you that they felt and what would they want to say to you we already have a message flying out the knight of wands could be dealing with the leo aries sagittarius here um, this is the joie de vivre tarot by paulina cassidy she's a beautiful beautiful artist um, 
Fire, fire, fire. <laughs> the Knight of Wands is becoming one of my favorite cards in the deck because of what it represents in the present and our our ability to sort of embody his energy to tackle everything in our life that is holding us back. Um, and this person has a lot of desire for you that they really want to wield. This could be of a physical nature as well. There's also this sense of like them wanting to travel with you as well, but they have a lot of physical hopes and thoughts and fantasies when it comes to you. What are their feelings for you? What are their true feelings? It's your book. Oh my goodness, two of cups coming out with the justice card. It's like meant to be, they're saying. They, it's, they started out with fire, especially in the past. I feel like they were really attracted to you physically, and that's something that they really wanted to say, but it's, it's grown since then. And in the present energy, we're leading into Two of Cups and the Justice. So Libra, a very strong energy here. The Justice is a sense of truthfulness and what is right and what is real and what is purposeful and what's supposed to be. And with that Two of Cups, it's just this divine, it's like a divine knowledge of the connection. It's like, you belong to me. Three of Cups. This could be a friend you're asking about here. And you could be in separation from them at this very moment because the Three of Cups can also speak to the desire for a, a reunion with you, a reason to celebrate. Six of Wands. Back of the deck is the Four of Coins. So this person could be somebody who has really wanted to kind of branch out in the current... Like, if you're in a no-contact situation with this person... It could just be like situational or because of things going on in the world. Um, but it's like the sense of really wanting to move from one vein of a relationship into a new vein. It's like they really want to um, push through the obstacles that they see ahead of you. They really want to embark on new adventures and, and, and leap into beautiful new beginnings. But they're a little bit hesitant too because of everything the two of you have experienced together, perhaps within a friendship confine. They're concerned about what that will do to that um, connection or they're also the four of pentacles is also just this real concern about risking my ego being vulnerable in that way because it it kind of sweeps the rug out from underneath the stability that I, I perceive that I have in this connection you have the hermit oh Virgo very strong here with the hermit um, the hermit represents this meditation or this separation or like a time of seclusion that this person has had to wield their true desires. It's like they haven't had the space to wield what they really want, which is movement, <laughs> which is change, which is excitement, adventure with you. And they've just been sort of waiting, holding on to hope here with this light in the lantern. Um, but what is beautiful with this card is the beautiful dragonfly. And truly, you know, the dragonfly does talk about that desire for transformation, that desire for shifts. And with the Knight of Wands as a primary energy here, it really speaks to their their hunger, <laughs> their determination, their hunger for change here um, when it comes to you. We have judgment back of deck now. So judgment is that self-reflection. I've had time to think about, you know, what's brought us to this place. I've had time to think about what I want. Um, and it's it's a card that speaks to using that knowledge to create a brand new start or a brand new beginning. So they feels definitely strong, like a friendship vibe that really wants more. That six of wands is, is that that call from spirit on how to handle our insecurities or our, our problems in life, you know, sort of embody that Knight of Wands energy and visualize the wind before we've even conquered the obstacle. But the Six of Wands can also speak to this person's um, propensity to put on masks or maybe act really confident. They could be someone who tries to make a lot of jokes or acts really confident, but it's just because they're trying to hide their um, insecurity. The Hierophant. Ooh, ooh. They want to level up with you. How are they truly feeling? No filters, please. The King of Pentacles. Back of the deck, I just saw the King of Cups. Can we clarify the Six of Wands? Thank you. Queen of Swords. Back of the deck, there's the beautiful lover's card with the nine of coins. 
Now, because I'm dealing with collective energy, because I'm, this is a general reading, I do have multiple messages coming in for multiple people. So um, please take the messages as they resonate here with you today and then leave behind those that do not. Um, this lover's card, it does talk about the deep attraction that this person feels for you. So if you are resonating with the friend message, um, it's an indecision though about what to do because they put you on this beautiful pedestal. Look at this nine of coins. Not only are you attractive, not only are you sort of the embodiment of everything good, <laughs> um, they really want, uh, they don't put themselves on the same level as you. It's like they feel like you're out of their league. Um, and it's like, here's that two of wands. It's like, I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Do I risk it all? Because this person has the power to really, really, you know, kill me if, if I, you know, emotionally, if I get rejected. And there's almost an expectation of that because of what you, they deem you deserve, because they deem that you, you're sitting in a place of, um, abundance because you deserve to be there in every sense. Uh, they are really concerned about how pe how you view them specifically. They're concerned about your opinion of them and, and that changing in the future. They don't want um, ascension with you to mean change for how you perceive them, um, but they are worried about you rejecting them here. Queen of Swords, they're worried that the truth <laughs> will result in them sort of being cut out of your life. Uh, but they they dream, honestly, if I'm being honest, I have to say they dream about marriage with you as well. That's one of their fantasies that they've been holding out here. They may not be ready for that right this moment. I feel like they want to, to adventure with you, travel with you, experience you in every type of way. Um, but I feel like ultimately they would be very, the type to, to want to settle down with you, to want to look after you, especially too, and give you a very solid foundation. Because the King of Coins wants to provide a foundation that's solid that's dependable um, and this person's potentially a very hard worker too we have very strong Taurus energy here somebody who's very focused the second message coming in though here the Hierophant the King of Coins the Justice the Two of Cups with the Three of Cups there could be um, third-party situation here so take that as it resonates this lovers card could indicate um, that there's a choice to be made between two people and the Nine of Coins is my concern about even with the Two of Wands indecision um, the Nine of Coins could be my concern about my position or my reputation falling because of pursuing what I want. So take that as it resonates. Again, dealing with collective energy. How does this person, true, ooh, how does this person <laughs> explosion truly feel for you with the zero filter spirit, please? From the romance. Well, it's on the floor again. <laughs> Here we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Two of Cups, again, the sense of destiny with this person. And they've been thinking about it and fantasizing about it and hoping for it. Um, and they're hungry for more. They're hungry for more when it comes to you. It says, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Back of the deck says, calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help to bring you closer together. So they've been manifesting you. They've been conjuring you up, conjuring up change. And that could lead to more here. That could lead to a lot more down the future. If you're in disconnect, they want that reunion. If you're friends with them, they want, they want this to, they want everything. <laughs> I just say they want everything with you. Your true feelings, please. No filter. Peace. Dissolving unwanted or disturbing thoughts. That's all they want. They want peace with you. They want comfort. They want the whole thing. They want security. They want to offer that to you. They want to feel secure in your affection for them as well. Rising above clarity, freedom, and solution to everything that sort of stops them. And you know what I love about this spread? Very strong earth energy here. Very strong earth energy with the, ver with the hermit, the hierophant, the king of coins. And I feel like they are... They don't have a lot of negative cards here. So I feel like they are really focused on rising above anything that has stopped this connection in the past. Because like I said, that dragonfly keeps eating at me. It's like, I'm hungry for this change. I want to rise above in order to attain my peace here. Like they have something they want to get off their chest with you that they've been holding back. We have eternal dance, movement, wheel of life, path of least resistance. 
It may be that they were um, tiptoeing around things with you in the past of this connection and they were trying to do so because they were trying to minimize um, the fallout if something bad happened. But ultimately it's just kind of gumming up the works <laughs> and it creates this sort of um, unending circle that just never stops. And now that unending circle is just thoughts of you. And that's what they really want, that peace to settle in. Let's get a couple, oh, actually let's get one of these first. Their true feelings for you. No filter, please, spirit. You are the golden egg, oh my goodness. This beautiful egg, this hasn't come out in a really long time, this beautiful egg of potential. It's nestled and they want to protect it. It's nestled in that soft hay. Um, they feel like it's bursting at the seams. They want to explore with you. They feel like the, and this person is really projecting themselves as very optimistic at this moment anyway, very optimistic and sort of forward thinking. And they're really fantasizing about everything, <laughs> every possibility, every single possibility. Maybe you're currently dating this person. I don't feel like that's the case for some of you. So please take that as it resonates, but it's like they want to protect the potential and they want to protect what has already transpired between you. They have a real sense of wanting to um, keep you safe and keep you happy. We have the horse. The horse is leadership and determination and even kindness. I always think of kindness when I see the horse with the big kind eye and, and determination, d dependability. It's like it would be your world and they would just be living in it. They want to make sure that you feel secure, that you feel safe. Back of the deck is the octopus. The octopus is a very intelligent creature with many talents. And you know, all of the, it's like I, their, their ability to multitask is really important to them as well. Um, but you can see how his crown chakra is all lit up. I feel like no matter what this person is doing, um, they really want to say to you that no matter what I'm doing, when I, especially when they're working, when they're working towards their goals, they're always thinking about you and they're always taking you into consideration as well for the future. What are their thoughts? Please hope they could truly feel no filters. I fancy everything about you. There's nothing unattractive about you to this person. It says, I have no right to, but I get so jealous over you. A sense of possession. It's like I've claimed you. You don't see it, but I think you're perfect. They, like I said, you definitely feel like you're out of their league in their opinion with this nine of coins. <laughs> and that could be what sort of stops them from making that decision too. This feels like an obsession. Whoops, I dropped one. Can we start over? Can we start at square one? In a different vein, I feel though, on the fence about what to do, on the fence about approach. And I don't see um, movement very quickly in the future of this connection. So I feel like they're still really focused on it's got they're a little bit stuck in a bit of a stagnation they may be a little bit stuck in this loop of the hermit of like um contemplation and holding out hope but i feel like they're optimistic and i feel like they are hungry for it but they haven't actually put those plans into motion yet this is taking forever that's what spirit says and they're saying oops addicted to you I'm making plans but I do need time so they are planning on coming forward trying to figure myself out at this time back of the deck says I can still hear your laugh how do they truly feel with no filter please hear it I've thought about surprising you with a date this feels kind of innocent to me, this, this person or this connection. So some people don't want to see us together, but I don't care. So for those of you potentially resonating with that message of decision, choice, 
between you and potentially another person or vice versa. Here we have, I've thought about having a family with you here a fent, and I really do miss you a lot. So this person allows themselves and allows their fantasies to enter into that realm of commitment with you. I do keep a close eye on your social media. True feelings, woo. True feelings, please spirit. So I walked away to find myself. I mean, have I ruined everything I touch? Um, like I said, I feel like this person's pretty optimistic in the moment. And I felt like saying that specifically before because they're not always optimistic. They have, this is all I have to give at this time. But that's why they feel like they're, it's going to take time for them to make a plan of action towards you. Because they don't feel like they're on that level. Or they don't feel like they have enough to offer someone like you. We do have this, um, though, there is someone else. So you may resonate with that. Please take that as it resonates. Um, and we have, I had blinders on. So that could have been in the past too, making wrong choices um, because we weren't seeing things clearly. I was so unfair to you is on the back of that deck. Let's get a charm bowl for you, group number three. Their current thoughts of you, their true feelings of you with zero filter in the bowl here. If you're new to the channel, I do end each um, pile with a I say pile <laughs> each reading with a charm bowl charm cast with teeny tiny tarot and charms that I've collected over the years the lovers again Gemini very strong here um, ace of Pentacles and reversed and the knight of wands for your teeny tiny tarot in the bowl today so that lovers is that sense of decision again a choice potentially that they didn't make or did make in the past that has come back to haunt them it's made them sort of stressed about um coming forward with an offer in the present now that's why that ace of pentacles is in the reverse position really worried about what lies beyond <laughs> what lies beyond that archway it looks a little i know you guys can't really see it with this lighting but there's like jagged peaks tiny jagged peaks through that archway that can be a little bit worrisome for people when they're trying to embark upon change um so they're a little bit stressed out about that but there's that knight of wands very strong fire energy here um, but it's about intent it doesn't really have to be associated with one of your signs but it's about intent and what it means and what it, the, the feeling behind it they really want action <laughs> and they have intent to come forward to you in the future they're just in the moment not quite ready still stressing about the details and about what they're going to do and say and all of those things but they're hungry for change and they're hungry for you <laughs> in a lot of ways Let's get a charm bowl. Ooh. Okay, we have here kind, free, brave, true, happy, thankful. Um, this is just a charm that speaks to all of how they feel about you and how they want you to view them as well. We have R in the bowl. We have a shovel, which is like somebody digging themselves a deeper hole when they're trying to accomplish things. We have Aquarius in the bowl. We have the infinity symbol, so I think of strength and Leo. Um, we also have the baby fawn. You may have known this person when you are a child or in school with that fawn, somebody who you've grown with. We have I love my cat, so you could have a cat at home. We also have love here, a little heart with love. Um, and we, and again, Leo energy. Leo energy here. You could be the Leo. <laughs> so like, I love my cat. I love my Leo. Um, we have the high priestess with a little curled shell because the high priestess holds information and secrets and the curled shell, you know, can hide things down in those curls that we cannot see. All right. Group number three, that is what I have for you today. Um, how are they feeling about you right this moment? Their true feelings for with, with zero filters. If this resonates, I would love to hear about it in the comment section. I would love for you to subscribe to this channel. Please like this video, hit your notification bell, and drop me a comment so that I can enter you in for a chance to win my free monthly reading. Um, you can check out my Instagram page because I offer a chance to win a free meet 
mini read over there and you can check out my Etsy page to um, purchase a, a private reading with me. But if you go there and the page is empty, it just means I've sold out for that day. I've been selling out very quickly. Um, so I always repost in the afternoon on weekdays and I always repost on Sundays. So keep checking back, connect with me on Etsy and we can try to navigate that system for you. Um, but I really hope that you come back here and visit me on another day at the Tarot Cottage and I hope that you have a very beautiful day today. Take care.